Thank you for joining with me today. The Apostle John's theme in his Gospel is that it is possible for us to have an abundant and abounding life because God has sent Jesus Christ into this world. Listen to these words. This is Jesus speaking to Thomas. He said, Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus did many other miraculous signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. This abundant, abounding life is available to you because John starts his gospel by talking about who and what Jesus Christ is. The word Christ is not a name, it's a title. It means the Messiah, the Anointed One, the one who had been prophesied about in the Old Testament scriptures. And John talks about that he had finally come into this world. He talks about him as the creator taking on human flesh. God literally becoming a man to teach us about the true nature of reality and the truth about the life which is available for us all as human beings. When you start to look into areas such as science or physics or mathematics or any of these areas, you will soon start to discover that there is a great mind at the back of the universe. You cannot study any field of the sciences without soon coming to the conclusion that there is a design behind things. There is a pattern, there is a, 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 an order, there is an arrangement, there is a balance behind creation. If you cut yourself on your skin, it soon begins to heal in an amazingly complex process. There's just an incredible intelligence, a great mathematical mind, a great physicist, a great scientist, a creator behind the seen world, the physical world. What the Bible teaches is that you are a spiritual being currently having an earthly experience. You are created and in the image and the likeness of this God who created the universe, who became a human being and came into this world. The one who John and the other New Testament Gospel writers wrote about. The one in the book of Acts we see the early Christians experience him and sharing and proclaiming him. The one we see in the letters of the apostles to the church explaining who this person, Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth is. When you understand why God sent him and you speak to him, your eyes can be opened into other realms of reality. You can change direction in your life. If you don't think you're having an abundant and an abounding life during your existence here on earth, then change direction. That's what the word repent in the Bible means. It means a change of heart, a change of mind, that you're going to go into in a different direction in life. And the Bible teaches us that when we want to follow Christ, we cannot do it without his help. That's why when we ask him, Lord, help me to change. Help me to change direction. Help me to repent. Because that word repent in the Greek is metanoia, which means just to change direction. You ask him, and I guarantee that Christ will come into your life. Your eyes will be opened. You will see the true nature of reality. Through the eyes of faith you will see into other realms. You will see beyond the physical world. 
like many who have gone before me, I am just a messenger sent by God to bring this message to you. That God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever might believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. This eternal life is available to you. It starts now in this life, when Christ gives us an abundant and an abounding life that will continue into eternity long after this physical, biological shell has expired to await a future day of resurrection. Receive Christ, my friend. God bless you. Amen.